There are several basic types of geometry that you can model with in Rhino. The first object type is the point. You can left click over the point icon or right click on it to place multiple points in the scene. The active viewport where you place the points will determine the construction plane that that point is projected to. Point objects take up a location in X, Y, and Z coordinate space. The next type of object that we'll make is a curve object. Click on the control point curve icon to place the first few points. You can move between the viewports to draw a three-dimensional curve. You can then select this curve and press the F10 key to turn on the control points for it. You can then select the control points to reposition the shape of the curve or delete them to simplify the shape. Pressing the F11 key will turn off the control points. You can also use curves to define a surface. From the surface drop-down menu, choose Extrude Curve Straight. This lets us use a curve to define the shape of a surface. Rhino also supports working with solids. Clicking on the box icon, we can place a box in the scene. You can left click to drop the dimensions, or you can enter actual values in the command line. Left clicking and holding over the box icon will display the solid flyout where you can see the other primitives that you can make. Lastly, Rhinoceros lets you work with polygonal meshes. From the Mesh drop-down menu, choose Polygon Mesh Primitives to make a polygon mesh. When working with polygon meshes that have curvature, you'll likely want to specify the flat shade mode in order to see the individual polygons more cleanly. And that's a synopsis of the basic object types that you can model with in Rhinoceros version 4.